and I knew it was well known, but bloody Nora, look at this. We're planning to do the summit walk, but the weather is not ideal. How do you feel? That was the hardest thing I ever did in my whole life. <laughs> Every step you get stronger. I thought that was quite a nice sentiment. Um, so we decided we were going to stay at Lake Gardner uh, before we go up to Cradle Mountain because it's a free camp that's like half an hour from the information centre. And I knew it was well known, but bloody Nora, look at this. Caravan, 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 caravan. What do you want to do? Do you want to go back? So we're just going to go suss out. There's like other grassy spots on the other side of the bridge, etc. Yeah, just go down there and say, excuse me, do you mind if we just invade your space? So we managed to find our own little corner, but you can see why it's a really popular spot. It's beautiful. Like this place is sick. What do you reckon, Shane? It's not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Every time we open that door at the moment, that wood drops out, so it's getting burnt tonight. Burn a lot of it. We're doing some chicken over the fire, which I'm pretty keen for. Dutch creams, jacket potatoes. How are they? I haven't tried it yet. I haven't eaten one yet. <laughs> so on our mission of trying Dutch cream potatoes all the different ways. Jacket potato now. Oh. <laughs> Is it hot there, Cobba? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a thought. It's a bit fresh. So we are at Cradle Mountain today. We were planning to do the summit walk, but the weather is not ideal. It's not like we're not bothered by it being cold or wet. It's just the fact that it's so misty that if we do the summit, we're not gonna see anything. So yeah, might need to change our plan of attack for today. Maybe just do a different walk and then Save the big walk for tomorrow, but then again, apparently the weather's going to be terrible again tomorrow, which is typical of the two days we're here. So maybe we'll show you a, a misty, cloudy version of Cradle Mountain. <laughs> okay, so after about a good half an hour of deliberation, we have still not really got any set plan. No, I have no idea. Where's the shit out? <laughs> we're just going to catch the shuttle bus up, see how we go, and yeah take it as it comes but the weather looks better towards the end of the week so we might even come down off the mountain and then come back up later in the week yeah yeah we'll just do what we can all right there you are I'm here. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Hello. so the way they do it here is you've got to get a shuttle bus up to the walks i think if you come early enough you can drive straight up and um, it looks like in summer that the dub lake car park is always shut Realistically for us, we're like, if we're getting up early, saves us some fuel. Mm. And you're doing 23 litres per hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to start doing the Dove Lake circuit and see where the mist takes us. Yeah, we'll just 
just walk and see if it clears up. <laughs> if not, we'll walk some more. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Ah, beautiful views. Magic. I think it's somewhere around there. The sim. The sim. The sunshine's coming through, and we can see just a little bit coming through. Still don't quite believe it exists. Okay, so I think we finally worked out our plan of attack. Um, we're about three quarters of the way around the Dove Lake circuit, which is a really nice walk, but it's mainly just boardwalks. It'd be quite a family friendly walk. And then we're gonna go up past Lake Lilla or Leela, and then up to the Wombat Pools, Crater Lake, and then back down to Ronnie Car Park that way. Cause we're not actually gonna do any of those tracks when we do eventually do the Crater Mountain Summit. Cause we're gonna do Hans's Peak, the summit, and then um, Marion's Lookout when we do that walk. So it kind of makes sense just to do all the tracks that we won't do when we do the summit today. So yeah, we'll show you around those too. I can keep up with Shano. Uh, wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yara today. Um, I grabbed my camera out of the camera bag so I didn't have room for my whole camera bag in the backpack. I just grabbed it in a rush this morning. I pulled it out and I was like, oh damn, I've got the wrong lens on that I wanted. And then I was like, oh whatever, I'll make do with it. I went to turn it on, I said change battery pack and my spare battery is in my camera bag. So good job we're gonna be coming back in a couple days because I want to get some cool photos of the boat shed. Who's a rookie? I'm a rookie. Clad, 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 leg, 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 clad, 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 clad. Clad, 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 leg, clad, 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 clad. I hope no one comes. Wow! Oh god, they're stuck. Take it off, Charlotte. Stop! Slowly. Oh yeah. Oh, creep. Yeah, this is going on YouTube. Oh yeah. I doubt it. I'm the one that edits the videos. Oh yeah. Trying to make sure my ankles are protected. You should tie double knots. I did tie double knots. That's what I was doing. Comment if you believe in double knots. <laughs> famous boat shed. I have to come and get a proper picture when I actually have my camera with a working battery in it on Thursday. It's just a shed, it's no bug in there. <laughs> So 
So if you decide you want to do the same circuit as we're doing today, it's taken us what, like probably like 10, 15 minutes to go from the boat shed to here. And we're, so we've gone past Lake Lily and we're just at the junctions. You go up to Wombat Pools or you can go straight back to like across to Ronnie Creek or backtrack on yourself and get to Dove Lake Car Park. So, so Dove Lake Car Park's back 20 minutes. Ronnie Creek's 35 minutes from here and Wombat Pools is 15 minutes apparently, but I might time it and see how long it actually takes us. Cause I quite often find these signs are not very, what's the word I want? Realistic, accurate. Hmm. Okay, that bit of the walk is pretty well uphill non-stop from the junction from Lake Lula to Wombat Pools but it did only take us 10 minutes and that was with a couple of short stops so even if you went slower going than us 15 minutes is probably pretty accurate then if you're fitter fitish 10 minutes if you're fitter than us which is probably pretty easy now we're living on the road then you could probably do it in less than 10 minutes Okay, so we've got a tiny bit of GoPro battery left too, but the GoPro battery we grabbed this morning, the spare one we thought was full and it has 20%. So we're on the iPhone, so hopefully you can hear me okay with the wind. Uh, we've got up the top of the part of the track from Wombat Pool, and then it's pretty magic up here, as you would have just seen. So you can see Wombat Pool, Lake Lula, and Dove Lake. Um, but we've got to go, I wonder if I can show you on here. It's like just up the top there is Crater Lake. So that's where we're headed to next. And Shane's just researching for our walk on Thursday. <laughs> for people that have been asking, we've had a couple messages about what GPS we use. Um, so we use a Garmin Inreach 66i. <laughs> Here's the example. Uh, we chose that one because it has the Inreach capability. So whilst you have to pay monthly to use Inreach, we just felt like it was worth it to be able to have satellite SMS. It's not a sat phone, you can't call, but you can SMS to family back home if you're gonna be out of range for a long time. It it's has got it's, function. It's got an SOS button on it. So if one of us has an accident, the other one can just press the SOS button and then it basically will give emergency services your exact coordinates, which can be handy when you're in remote locations. So yeah, we recommend it. And it's great just as a general GPS phone. That has literally just made my day. I am the happiest, happiest girl now. I can't believe we got to see a wombat and so close. Neither of us have seen a wombat in the wild and it does say on the information center that Ronnie Creek car park is the most likely spot. But, oh, he's so, so cute. Okay, we're back on the GoPro because now my iPhone memory is full. We are really not having much luck this episode. No. No. So what I was saying is we've looked at Cradle Mountain Lodge with Peppers before and we'd love to go stay there, but it's literally like $1,300 for two nights. Not quite in the budget on this trip. We will one day, but when we were looking on their website, the bar is open to the public. So we're going to go get a beer. Gonna smack a beer there. <gasps> we have earned it. I'm so keen. So go, 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 go. Say it again. I'll walk out to the bar and say, can I get a beer there? They're gonna go, you're a bit too bogan to be in a peppers. <laughs> we don't sell beard hairs. <laughs> Sounds like you're saying beard hairs. Yeah, well, that's probably what I think I'm saying. Yeah, don't you? 
Or do you want to sit on those two leather armchairs? I'll have to swap so I can see the cricket. Where do you sit there? Are they good? Oh, that's Is a shame. Is she what? Yeah. Mm. I'm just not a bloody lager drinker. Well, a craft lager drinker, you know. Oh, I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely a craft lager drinker. Like, I like that bloody draft. Yeah, you can get it. It's fucking cute. <laughs> I was videoing that whole time. You're videoing that. <laughs> well, I like the draft that Keegan gets, but that's a little bit dog shit if you ask me. <laughs> I should have gone with the pail, that's what I was going to do. You should have gone with the pail. Where do you reckon I'd love this from? France. There's a France? France. She's cute. She's cute. Oh. Don't reckon? Y yeah, she's your type. Definitely not. Shane has a type, brunette, round face, done. Just cute accent, you used to have one too. <laughs> but then I dated you for too and long. Then you turned into a bag. Wow. Fireplaces. Time to go. You wanna stay? Oh, let's go. It's too flash for us. <laughs> So I'm having a dilemma. Do I just jump in the creek to clean myself, which will be cold, but quick and easy? Or do I wait until Shane has got the fire going and heat the water up on the fire? Don't want to do it on the gas burner because we're not sure how much gas we've got left, which sounds like a bit of an F around. Shane, eh? You won't catch me jumping in that creek. That's too cold. Yeah, Shane is a bit of a wuss when it comes to cold water. I'll see what I decide. <laughs> it's too really cold if I jump in. Okay, I made my decision. I'm gonna go for a dunk. Shane says I'm crazy. I reckon I'm just braver than him. That shit, that shit you reckon? It's just deeper, quicker here, so I can just quickly dunk. Because the more I think about it, the more I'm probably not going to do it. Now, just do it. Don't think about it too much. Yeah, really? It's cold, but it's not like unbearable. Not freezing? I would say freezing. Refreshing is the word. Refreshing. Okay, that will do. <laughs> Ever the grey small gal. <laughs> oh. oh, that was refreshing. I'm gonna live by from now on. I can't remember if this had this for my brother or someone else, but you never regret a swim. That's definitely a lot. What do you mean? I've jumped into places before and regretted it instantly. Why instantly? Too cold. Too cold. Shana's gonna have a fish. I'm gonna start dinner because I'm cooking dinner again. Woo! Woo! Um, but other than that, that'll do it for today. The plan is for tomorrow to do some of the smaller walks around Cradle Mountain National Park. So we thought we'd show you them. I hope for this episode is it gives you a bit of an all round guide of the walks to do around the Cradle Mountain National Park so you can plan your visit. Um, yeah, so we will see you probably back up at the National Park tomorrow morning. Or maybe midday, because it's supposed to be rainy tomorrow. So we might just head up there a little bit later. Bye. Okay, we're back for day two. Are you keen? Yeah, oh yeah, lovely. Beautiful weather for <laughs> It's rainy and cold again. Well, it wasn't cold yesterday. It's definitely colder today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to do, what's it called? Waldheim? Forest? It's not a forest, it's just a little shack. Forest walk. 
And it's called like Waldheim Forest Walk, Forest Lodge Walk. There used to be a forest lodge out by some guy called Waldheim, so we're going to go check that out. And then do a couple of falls, a couple of the smaller walks. So if you need more kind of like family friendly walks and that's what you're kind of looking for, we can show you them today. Yeah, friendly for families. Which is not really us, but right, right, you know. yeah, at least we'll show you it. <laughs> Bit of a, this is our recovery walk before the summit tomorrow, hey? <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a camera with batteries today and we've got three GoPro batteries charged, so we should be good today. <laughs> name but it says it's a 45 minute return but I reckon it just took us 10 minutes to walk down here. Yeah. So probably more like a 20 minute return. Dodging the pelicans. <laughs> yeah true. Um, and then we you can do the Dove Canyon track from here and again it says it's a three hour circuit but sounds like then it'll probably only take you about an hour and a half. But it's nice. I'd say I probably preferred the walks we did yesterday but they're definitely very nice easy walks. So if you want to do something that's like board walks all flat how much incline or decline and yeah these are probably a good option for you today so yeah we'll head on to Waldheim Forest Lodge walk oh uh, yeah 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 yes yeah. yeah, so you are wild at someone's keen to get the walks done so we can go fishing yeah I'm saving myself for tomorrow we've got big work for more tomorrow we've got big big walk tomorrow right. tomorrow's the main event are you excited yeah bro what are you here for oh, the trout it's just the trout and cradle mountain nothing Pretty else much, yeah. you reckon well, we're here for trout, yeah, first and foremost. Okay, we'll see you the next vlog. <laughs> in there. Looks cozy, hey? Mm. This is really cool. I, like, I didn't know what we were walking up to. I just had seen someone recommend, I think I was reading a blog post or something online, and someone mentioned it was definitely worth doing. And they were right, this is cool. Nerd out on old shit. Yeah, like look at all the old like crockery and stuff they've got. The old architecture. Really. This is one big log. A lot the way I was splitting wood yesterday with the broken axe and just hammering the wedge in. <laughs> yeah. That's how they do that. That's so wedge in here, wedge in here, and then go over a little bit. And then just keep splitting it off. Just keep working it down and just take a little bit off. Imagine how long it'd take. You're very impressed, hey? Yeah, it's cool. Literally, two seconds ago before we spotted this, Shem was like, why do we go walk up here? What are we coming up for? But yeah, this is um, definitely worth the trip. It's pretty cool. Pretty cute. Cool. Yeah. 
looking at the dead trees. Apparently if they get burnt, they don't, in a wildfire, they don't really grow back again. Um, but, so yeah, you've got that uh, forest walk after you've been to the cabin, which was amazing. I didn't really video a lot of it, but it's like you're in some enchanted forest. So that was really cool. Uh, and as you can see, so we're just walking back down the road after it, and then that's the Running Creek car park. So you basically go up the car park, you do this boardwalk all the way around here, come up the top, and then... You can totally just walk straight up here though. You could totally just walk straight up here. We should just done that. <laughs> it's just windy today. Yeah. The weather's definitely worse than yesterday. That's horrible. I mean, where's Cradle Mountain? Doesn't exist. She still haven't seen it. No. We've been here for two days and we still haven't seen it. So we're still trying to debate whether it's real or not. <laughs> Tomorrow's the day, Shane. Eh? We're questioning its existence. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, we'll just go cruise back. We've got friends from home that we should be seeing this afternoon, so that'll be good. And then we'll see you in the morning to do the summit climb, which I'm actually a little bit nervous about. Big what? walk. They did it in 1911 wearing dresses. We'll be fine. <laughs> True. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs> It's a real thing. It exists. Okay, so after three days, we're finally doing it. It exists. The big summit. It's windy and it's a bit fresh. No, we're late. We're on the beers last night. <laughs> Our friends from the sunny coast came, so we ended up going to bed much later than we planned. But it's a real thing. There it is. That's the cradle. We're going to go up there. Oh, I need to start tracking the walk. Yep. How the bloody hell are we going to get up there? Wait for me! No effing around today, right on. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, so because we're late, we're going to have to do it pretty quick smart. So we may not do as much detail videoing, but we really need to get on with it and it's a big walk. So, yeah, we'll see you probably at checking at different spots along the way. Somewhere up high. Oh, you can probably hear that wind though. <laughs> Great Northerner. Wow. Nah. I think we'll make it. We'll go for a swim, make it 10 toes out. You like the Great Northerner? <laughs> I'm sorry, 10 toes, I'm not that committed. I'll go for a swim in there. It's pretty cool. We're in the cradle. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm very slow going, she's getting frustrated, but it is so cool. You want to jump up there? I'll rock the cradle for you.
That was the hardest thing I ever did in my whole life. <laughs> Accomplished though, right? Well, I can't see anything, so it was a point. Oh, not all about the views, mate. <laughs> no, it was pretty incredible. It's definitely one of the hardest walks I've ever done. <sighs> Poor Shano, I was going like probably two miles an hour at the end there. Yeah, even slower, I think. <sighs> but I made it. Thoughts with Charlotte. Uh, no, I was just saying it's bloody typical. So we did this crazy hike and now it's cloudy as soon as we get up here. Like, can't see anything. Yeah. It's one of those things. I guess we should have been a bit bloody. Don't say quicker. <laughs> Don't appreciate it. But climbing mountains is more about the view. Less, less about just the view. It's about the the mental and physical challenge. The bloke on the way up said, every step you get stronger. I thought that was quite a nice sentiment. It's a, one of the biggest adversaries you can tackle. Just you against nature. Yep. And a very slow girlfriend. <laughs> in all my life. Boardwalk. Beautiful. I'm in heaven. Might be in a bit, might be in a bit. Yeah, I had a great mountain climb. Charlotte, maybe not. I, no, it's not that I didn't. It was just pushing my body to the extreme, so I'm very tired. So boardwalk feels nicer than my feet. That's the, beauty. That's the beauty of climbing mountains. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well I didn't say I didn't enjoy it, I just said it was tough yakka. Hard yakka, that's what you say isn't Hard it? Yakka, Hard yakka. Hard yakka, yeah. Just the saying. Alright, uh, take us home Mr. Walk Down Me Boardwalk. Shano, my legs say no more. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'll tell you what, I don't think I've ever been more keen for a beer in all my life. But we were just chatting, and Shane, you reckon this is you, one of your favourite walks you've ever done, if not your favourite? Yeah, it's definitely up there. Just the Hanson's Peak part you like? Oh, I like the whole lot. But I really like that handsome tree. Yeah. Just a walk up along the ridge line there with the lake on the other side. But it's big, you don't normally do a, like a climb a summit and then have to do like seven Another days. Another I'm walking of, too. By the side of it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big day. It is, yeah. So um, I'll put the stats from, because I've been using all trails to trap all day, so I'll put the stats. You probably could do it a good hour quicker than us. Like obviously I was really slow going when we got to the bouldering bit. And it is a walk that I'd say you'd want to at least have a moderate level of fitness for, because we are both hurting right now. And we're not as fit as we used to be before we left on the trip, but we're still hurting. And it's gonna be even worse tomorrow, but worth it. I mean, just look at this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, a bit abrupt, but we essentially just went to Peppers and had beers and were wine and then crashed out yesterday. Yeah, it was a big day. We finished it off at the pub. My plan is, is I want to collate some information about the three days of walks for you guys and kind of put some stats. So obviously the first day we did that double X circuit, one back four, Lake Villa, and the second day we did the smaller walks and obviously yesterday the big walk. So um, I will calculate it all, put it into a bit of a stats thing for you so you can get a bit of info on it but hopefully this episode has given you a bit of idea of Cradle Mountain National Park we thought it would go all now hey yeah we saw pretty much everything there was a couple of tracks we didn't do but 
Yeah, we've seen enough. So, <laughs> it was good. On to the next adventure. So we're going to probably go off and just do a bit of exploring ourselves now for the next few days. So not sure when we'll next see you guys home. No, uh, we'll think of something to do. We'll find something cool somewhere along. But if you are wondering, like obviously Cradle Mountain National Park is very well known, but it is more than just the boat shed and the lake, Dove Lake. Like there is so much more you can explore. And if you have been thinking about doing the summit, it is a tough walk, but it is so worth it. It was amazing, hey? Yeah, absolutely. You've got to climb mountains. It's the best thing you can do in life. Shane's favourite thing to do. Yeah. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching. Cool. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.